Do you have any marijuana dispensaries and are you worried that there is talk of marijuana being deregulated down to schedule three drug when credit cards could be used to pay for the weed? So do you have any dispensaries? I know that'll do. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I don't have any dispensaries. Um, We did at one point have one. Uh, It's never been our, our, our focus, it probably should have been because a bunch of uh, buddies that we have that, that are in the business have a lot of dispensaries and they're making a killing. But for sure, at some point, even if it doesn't get de- before it even gets deregulated, they're going to pass a bill for payments and, and they're going to start taking cards, I'd say. And a lot of people think that's going to happen within like the next two years. Of course, they said that two years ago. So I don't know when it's going to happen, but there's there's guys with ATMs and dispensaries that are doing hundreds of transactions a day, which is insane. Uh, that's like the numbers we would see at like a bank or an airport and they're doing it at dispensaries. So dispensaries as of right now, I'd still do it if, if, if it came up and I had the opportunity, I'd do it because you're going to pay the machine off so fast. Who cares if it goes away in a couple of years? So let me give you the big brain way of looking at this, y'all. So the dispensaries, yes, you're doing super huge. I mean, guys, you're going to be doing strip club and casino numbers if you get a dispensary. I've personally never had one, but I know people that have. Now, it's I sick. wouldn't get – oh, yeah, I wouldn't get too worried Planet about – Planet 13 has like 10 ATMs. Oh, I know, dude. I, I went an there and I'm, like, and I'm like fuming. I'm like, man, this should be me in here, but – I wouldn't look at it as like, okay, you know, obviously y'all stuff's going to change, you know, like down here to DMVs were cash only for a while at ATMs and, you know, the ATM, they switched to taking cards, the ATMs went to zero. But what you need to think of is this, is that having that ATM, it gets your foot in the door with these locations. So if you, if you've serviced them correctly on the ATM side, and then they want to, they can legally accept cards now, Richie, wouldn't it make sense that they go with you for the credit card processing? There's people already doing that. Like that, that is the play. Like there are guys, I spoke to somebody the other day who is, is big in the dispensaries and that's our whole plan. They, they started up a a processing division and they're already pushing saying, Hey, look, like they they may already be putting there. There's these, uh, cashless terminals that you're not supposed to put out there that a lot of guys are putting out there in these dispensaries. But a lot of these guys are positioning themselves to have the relationship so that when the ATMs do go away, they'll have the credit card processing, which is still, you know, on cash discount going to make them a ton of money. You know, they might even make more. So it's, it's, uh, it's all about relationships. I mean, that's how we look at this. You're building a portfolio of customers and it doesn't matter if you're doing ATMs today or credit cards tomorrow or whatever comes next beyond that. You have built this this loyal client base. And as long as you delivered and did what you said you were going to do and you proved yourself to them, they're going to be loyal to you. And when you have new opportunities, they're going to go with you. And that is the beauty of like an ATM business is because you can start with the ATM, but then you can add just like Kevin did. Like I watched Kevin do it. He had ATMs and he added jukeboxes. He added pool tables. He added credit card processing. And he might have one place that has all of that stuff because they trust him now. They know him. They like him. They know he's going to show up at two in the morning when they have a problem. So they say, you know what? We're going to give everything to Kevin that we could possibly give to Kevin. And and think about it from a sales standpoint. You know, say there's a new bar opening in your town and you're going in there. And I'd always say like this, man, you might not always get the Happy Meal, but you might get the chicken nuggets. Meaning that they might say, look, man, I'm going with Richie for the ATM. He's my guy. But Kevin. You, oh, you do POS? Yeah, Kevin, you put the POS. We're going with company ABZ for the jukebox. So having that wide range of, uh, of, of, of stuff you can offer is going to benefit you. But looking back on it, Richie, if I'm being objective and I'm just looking back on it, if I could do it all over again or, if, you know, if 16-year-old Richie could do it all over again, I think I would have done, like Antonio was asking earlier, the point of sales systems and credit card processing. I think that that is in 2023. I think credit card processing and POS systems are the best passive income opportunity of any business of, and if there's something better, let me know in the comments, but uh, Richie, what do you think? You know, somebody new getting into the game. is yeah, this I, I agree. I agree with that. I'm going to tell you why I didn't do it. I looked at credit cards early on when I was probably 17, 18 years old, got signed up under an ISO and I didn't do it because back then it, it really wasn't as profitable. There wasn't cash discount. You didn't have cash discount back then. 
and and it wasn't that great of a deal. And I also back in 2013 got involved in a POS play. And man, like that's before Square and all of these cloud-based systems, these iPad systems. And it was way harder, man. You were spending, you know, one bar, a restaurant might have been like ten thousand dollars plus in equipment. And it was big. It was complicated. We had to have a guy that was like a, an expert on his stuff on the team to help. And it was really hard to set up and uh, it was harder to fix. I mean, it's a whole nother game. Once again, going back to the idea that, yeah, is there is there a lot of uh, competition these days? Sure. But in a lot of ways, all of this stuff's gotten so much easier.